What's your most embarrassing date? I went on a date with this guy and like we went bowling and he tried to chuck me into the bowling alley, like huh? in the lane. What? <laughs> did you <laughs> consent of that? Like, was it? I did not consent. And to you that. just ran in and grabbed the. Why is that? What you? Um, because he was scared that I was gonna win, so he tried to dash huh? me into the pit. Or was you like standing him? So he's like, "Yo, show your mum." Big man thing, yeah. It's Castillo, aka a baby mum's favorite, aka say something, out now on all digital platforms, bruv. Now, welcome back to Cuffin' Season. Now, Cuffin' Season is a show where artists and influencers get the choice of free mystery dates, bruv. And the only thing they're gonna know about them is their playlist, bruv. You ain't never seen nothing like this, bruv. Big man ting, welcome to Cuffin' Season, bruv. Come on. Yo, what going on, my G? You my Come guy? on, Ims. Man. Yo, what? so, for the people that don't know, mm -hmm. let them know about you, bruv. I'm 21, I'm a content creator, and I make music as well. Just mm. get it. From South London, Croydon. That's literally it. Simple, plain, that's it. So I gotta get into it. So when you say content, we gotta clarify for the people then, because you could be doing a mad thing Con on there, bruv. So what kind of <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not on the mad thing. So what kind of content are you creating, bruv? Uh, literally, I started a quick series recently, you know. So what I do is go, I go to all the cities in the UK and I kind of show everyone the differences between every city. Oh, so you, you let it. people know if a city shit, yeah. bruv, you get me? Do you get it? So, do you get it? what is the deadest city, bruv, that you've the been to? The deadest city? Shittest one, bruv. Bro, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you now, go on, do bro. not go to Hull or Bedford. You know, Bedford's got the things up there, bruv. Big uh, are you sure? They got a few things. You get I, I ain't seen none of them. Bruv, I, back in the day, man, used to link a few things in the unis, it, bruv, back in okay, the day. Okay, okay. But why, why is Bedford and Hull dead? Like, why? Because it's just not... Active, do you get? Actually, no, let me add Wolverhampton as well. Wolverhampton. But there's things up in Wolverhampton. Oh, oh, where man. are they, though? They're hidden. Big man, man's met some fluffy things up. Fluffy man. things? Mm -hmm. Is that what you like, though? Yeah, but I like the thick like things, but you get me? Sell you like Sit, all them things there. Like but why, why them area? Why, Wolver why is Wolverhampton dead? Cool. You know when you're walking through like the city centre, that's where you expect to see people. Mm. Bro, everyone's either elderly, not of my age group, no one's there. And if anyone's there, it's probably younger kids that are in McDonald's. Just, Doing nothing. Mm, like how dead are we talking though? Like Red Dead Redemption oh. wasteland <laughs> cities. I'm just saying, just don't go to that city, bro. Or you you won't like it. For me, it's the things in it. Like the things. Yeah, that's, that's the important the, part. The, 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 yeah, that's the important part. The things there aren't for what's me. The, so what's the thing saying? What they, what's the average thing in there? Average, bro. Everyone I see there, I have a sixes. 6.5s, I haven't seen like a... Eight. What are they looking like though? Because I've got some Yardy friends, like, you get me? They, they like to diversify their portfolios, mm. man. You get me? You know what? Chav. Can so I like the fat Susans yeah, in like, that? Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. Like the tracksuit things. Yeah. yeah. Mad thing. I don't want to sleep too much. You see the flyers go in the juicy tracksuits. Mm. Like, where's the juice? Dead things. Dead things. So, okay, then this is a good question then. So, what is your usual type of gallon? What do you go for? My usual type? I don't even cap. I would say I don't even have a type like that in it, as long as you're beautiful. Mm. But like physically look. Physically though, yeah. like, I'm more of a bum than breast guy in it. So if, if you're mm. flat chested, calm. Do you get it? But if you got sat in there, I'll take it. Do you get it? Mm, so back off over breast. Yeah, that? yeah. Okay, I'm, that's... I'm a back over breast. Okay, what well, she got no back off though? Ooh, I'm running. No back? I'm cutting. I'm sorry, I can't do no back. So what I'm gonna do now, yeah. I'm gonna read some playlists. I'm gonna read three playlists out for you. Say yeah, and then you just choose the gal based on the playlist, bruv. So three playlists, uh, and you tell me know which one you want, and then that's that. the gal you're gonna get, bruv. First playlist, we call this playlist A, bruv. First playlist tune. A. Last last burner boy. Last last okay. Duffel bag, Joe boy. And then the last tune on there, bandana, fire boy. What do you think of that playlist so far? I won't lie. The only thing in that's uh, it's just but burner boy that no, so I'm not gonna cut. So playlist B, mm. first track, React by Switch Disco. Okay. Next track. Dance Around It by Joel Corey. Bro, I don't know these songs you're naming me, bro. Big man sing. Big Leave it away, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> Maria Maria by Tech It Deep. Tech It Deep? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> now, what do you think of that playlist so far? Bro, I have zero clue, bro. That Big man is X off. You're not alone in that one, yeah, bro. As long as you don't know it as well, we're on the same page. Big man sing. Now, playlist C. First track, Peace Be Onto You, Asake. Okay. Holiday, Rema. Okay. And then the last track, man. Girls just want to have funs, Naira Marley. Say nothing. Big man thing. So, what'd you think of that one? 
out of all of them, I'll take the last one. Still. Last one. Yeah. So, Playlist C. Playlist C. Would the beautiful lady for Playlist C come out? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Making me blush on that. Shit. What was your first impression of Nicole when she first walked out? I don't lie, she, she looked good in that dress. Did you get it? She looked. Did you get it? So big man thing, just off first impressions, ladies first, what are your thoughts? Um, he looks nice, I like her hat. What well, the LB hat? Yeah, it looks Shit, nice. Shit, you gonna see my hair as well? No, I can't see your hair. Oh. If I take it off, you won't like it. <laughs> well, do, would you like to see his hair? Yeah, let's Hey, see. my hair's not done. Can it's we not see done. It? Oh. You have to be real and honest. Oh. Oh. Are you guys on this? Big man thing. Is Big man thing. Your date, Bev. You know what? I'll show you after. Show you what? What's your, what do you think about it? He'll show you after. They don't I want to show you. Fair enough. I don't want to like, embarrass you. On no, no, it's not even day. embarrassing. My hair's long sure? and that. It's just bare. Okay, then let's see. Nah, it's, cut, it's overgrown and that. You can see the hair's coming out oh, the braids okay. and that. It's just long, but I'll show you after. So, big man thing, have you had any bad experiences with men that don't take off their hat? Personally? Yes, I have. He had a forehead the size of my bum. And I was just thinking, I was just not expecting this whatsoever. I felt trapped and I felt deceived. What do you do for yourself just to get into the vibes, just to let him know what you do? Um, so I work part time and I also do social media. Yeah, I'm meant to be going uni in September. What uni you think? Uh, Birmingham. Birmingham. Mhm. Mm that you. So big expect. man thing before we get into it, he he's also an influencer. He also yeah. creates content. Mm -hmm. He goes around areas and he assesses nice areas and shit areas. He's almost yeah. like a property developer in property. some ways. Yeah, yeah. real estate agent. <laughs> big man thing. That's what's, what's about to happen. So. Yeah. She just mentioned she's going uni in Birmingham. What's your thoughts on Birmingham? Bro, I'm telling you, you ugh, Brom Uni's active. I'm sorry, you're not good. If I went uni, which I chose not to, I would not be studying there, bro. You know mm. why? Bro, I won't, I'll be distracted. The part, bro, distracted doing what? One sec, before you, before you two get, I'm just going to leave you two because I oh, feel like it's going to get deep. So continue and enjoy the day. Distracted doing what? Yeah. This party is 24 7. I'm telling you, you be awake at 6 a.m., people are still roaming the streets, bro. She mentioned also that she'll be going to Birmingham Uni. What was your thoughts on that area? I can't, I can't cuff you, bro. Because what happens there is dangerous, bro. A video was passed around in it. This girl had a, she had a man in it. This video got passed around, she had a gangbang. Can you imagine that, bro? Imagine your girl telling you, I'm going Brom Uni, and a couple months later, and she's she, you see a video of her, nah, bro, I'm not on that. That's PTSD, bro. Like, where would you like to go on holiday? I'd want to go to somewhere I haven't been before. I've never Actually, been. Actually, hold up. Where have you been before? I've been to Italy, mm -hmm. I've been to Germany, I've been to Jamaica, I've been to Barbados, yeah, I've been to, been to America, places. yeah. Yeah, you've been to a lot of places, I won't lie. Yeah. I haven't been to much places, I've only been like France, Tenerife, Malaga. I want to go on like one of those girls trips, like to like Tenerife or Mobs or Napa, I've never done that. A girls trip? Yeah, I want to go on a girls trip. A guys trip? It depends who he's going with. Because if he's going with a bunch of whoring boys, then of course he's going to be encouraging the whoring. Yeah, if, well, I think you should trust him. Yeah, I should trust him, but I don't trust his friends. Yeah. I don't trust his friends and I don't trust, you know, the oh, no, no. activity that I hear on. it as well because I don't think I would be comfortable letting my girl go on a girl trip as well. I would let you, but it doesn't mean I'll be comfortable with it. Do you get it? Because I don't know what can happen and what goes down there. Do you get it? So what would you do if I was your girl and I was like, yeah, I'm going on a girl's trip to Napa? Cool. It, would it all depends friends. on it all depends on your friends, innit? With their whoring. But then if my your friends, friends are whoring, you're not going. So what well, you're gonna cut my passport? Yeah, but yes, I'm burning your passport. You're not going on no girl trip if I don't trust your friends. Right. What if you do trust the friends? Are you gonna if I, if I trust your friends, I can't say too much. I will have to let you go, innit? That's true. I have to trust you. And hopefully you don't break that trust when you're over there. I wouldn't break the trust. You know, Jamaican women don't cheat. Mm. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, what are we doing here? What country are you from? Nigeria. Oh. Would you guess that? Yeah. Where? I mean, Nigerian men, I've heard they are quite active in the streets. Active. Shit. Yeah. Right. Oh. I ain't that active. I won't lie, this looks good. This is what I came for. This is what you came for. You came for the food, you know. He mentioned that he was Nigerian and that, and then you said Nigerian men are active on the street. What did you mean by that? <laughs> People like to talk about Jamaican men. They are evil, but at least it's an evil that I'm used to. The first time I tried to Nigerian boy, I thought I was gonna die. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Yeah. I've been in one serious one still. 
How but, long do you guys think I've gone? Uh, I'll say like a year and a bit, but it ended up not working out still. What happened if you don't mind me asking them? Everything was going good, but then slowly she started losing her friends. Cause like her friends went uni. She wanted to meet my friends, all of that. I told her, yeah, come meet my friends, come be social, all of that. But realistically, she was very upset about losing her, her mm -hmm. main friends. Cause one of them was like her sister to her. Mm -hmm. Like they knew each other from young. So she started going through anxiety, all of that. And I was with her with that. Like I was helping her out. She couldn't go outside sometimes. I'll just stay inside with her. There was a point in time when I was like, rah, shit, I'm, I'm not even recording videos. I'm not doing anything. So I stopped my shit for her, oh. just to help her for months. Like I'm telling you like three, four months, I'm, I'm not recording. It got to seven months and I realized, rah, like I stopped all my shit, stopped making money from my stuff just to help my girl, innit? Mm. She got better, but she still didn't want me to like grind properly, innit? So oh, I, had to, I had to cut her off. I won't lie. Big man sing, before I get into it, how are you guys finding the food? I oh shit, I haven't even, I haven't even tasted Sorry, the food, I've been, bro. Sorry, I've been yamming. Bro, she's not asking me questions, I have to talk, bro. I can't cool. do I've been asking questions, so I, I don't have to talk. So, so you I can, can eat. eat. Yeah, literally. Just, so you're liking the food, though, you're like, mm -hmm. yeah? Shout out to good. Mama's blessings for the food. Big man sing, go get that, bruv. It's oh, lit, oh, still. Yeah. Come mm -hmm. on, how, how do you feel about it? This tastes good, still. Mmm, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. So far, how are you two getting to know each other? How are you lot feeling? I think it's good. Uh, I feel like you still have feelings for your ex. Hell oh. No. Oh, sorry, my bad. Hell no. Are you crazy? Why'd why you say that? Why'd you say that? The way you were talking about it, like, you felt like so emotional. No, no. The only reason why I feel like that is because mm. I feel like out of those seven months that it fucked me up, I feel like a lot of, I stopped a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. I, I could be even more up than I am now. But yeah. what happened before was like, she stopped that process. You mentioned on the date that you felt that he had feelings for his ex. Why is that? I'm really good at reading people and the way his heart was opening up when he was talking about his ex, I'm really sorry. I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable, but I just felt like I was watching the notebook. I felt like he was pouring his heart out to me. It was so sweet. So I want to ask you two some questions. You get mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So would you rather be if a girl who's been with five rappers, five footballers, or 20 average Joes? 20 average Joes. Why? Bro, a girl that's been with five rappers, five footballers, bro, she expects the life of a queen. Like, I'll give my girl a life of a queen, but she expects too much. What's too much? She's a, bro, diamond plates, everything. Like, she wants the most, bro, and I'm not on that. That's all she wants, bro, that's what she's going for. I don't mind, bro, I don't mind going for a girl that works a nine to five job, that's cool. Mm. Like she's humble with it. I know a girl like that is not humble, bro. So, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What's your most embarrassing date? I went on a date with this guy and like we went bowling and he tried to chuck me into the bowling alley, like huh? the lane. What? <laughs> did you <laughs> consent of that? Like, was it? I did not consent. And he just randomly grabbed you. Why is that what you? Um, was... Because he was scared that I was gonna win, so he tried to dash huh? me into the pit. Or was you like standing him? So he's like, "Yo, show your mouth." Yeah, and he was just like, "Like, I picked up the ball. He tried to dash me, and then I was thinking, okay, like, obviously maybe he has some issues." And then like he made me get on the night bus, and there were like really scary people. Obviously, we were in South. Night the crackers. The night out. bus. The yeah, night I'm not bus. On that. I went on a date with him before and I told him like, the reason I kind of caught you was because you ran for the bus in front of me. Did and that give you the ick still? Yes, it bro. gave me the ick, so I'm, I blocked on him that. on everything. When we got off in Ocean Station, he was like, oh, I know you don't want me to run for the bus again, but it's right there. And then he huh? started running for you know, the I'd bus. Rather, I would rather miss the bus, bro. I would, I would rather it. I thought I was gonna so cry. So man was doing like some Naruto sprints to he, the bus. And the worst now. thing man. is we were getting on the same bus and he left me in his dust. And I still walked and got on the bus. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He ran with full pace. Mm -hmm. And you still walked and got, yeah. yeah. I, saw, I needed to get home. I was tired at that point. She said that running for the bus gives her the ick. What did you make of that? Bro, if any man runs for the bus, recollect your life, bro. How can you do that with your girl? With your girl, that's correct. Like if you were by yourself and there was no one like that on the street, okay, say nothing. With your girl is crazy, bro. I'm not on that. I can't do that, bro. So now, we're gonna get to the nitty gritty, the real part of the thing. You're loving that food. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, she, loves, she loves food, you know. I can't stop eating. She loves food. Big man thing. So I'm gonna give you both these cards Thank and this you. pen. So what I want you to do is write down, don't show each other, write down if you're gonna be lovers or friends. Don't show each other. 
I'm going to count to three, and then what I want you to do is show it to the camera, and then I'm going to count to three again, then you show it to me, then three again, then you show it to each other. <laughs> One, two, three. Now back to me. One, two, three. Why are you looking? Now, one, two, now one, three, show it to each other. One, three. One, two, three. Okay. Hey. Oh, yeah, she got it. I hear it. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking, <laughs> good, looking good, bruv. good. So, why did you both choose? Why did you choose friends, first of all? I just feel like, you know, we got along really well, but I don't think it was like a thing like that. And no. I feel like maybe you need to talk to your ex. Nah, I'm good. Oh. You know what? The funny thing is, my my boy Josh says all the time. He says, "Bro, go back to your ex, bro." I'm oh. Telling him no. You see, if I chose lovers now, and all of his friends are telling him to go. No, back not to all of my ex. friends, just Josh. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going back to her still, though. So why did you choose friends? Nah, cause she's a good, cool girl to vibe with, innit? I don't think she's gonna be my girl or anything, innit? So, mm. but she's cool though. We got, we get along. So big man thing. We didn't get a match, bruv. You get me? There was no fireworks in the thing, but bruv. Maybe next time, Rev. Maybe next time. Cuffing season, big man team. So at the end, you decided to choose friends. Why did you choose friends? I chose friends because I actually really enjoy talking to him. I think he's so sweet. I think he's really nice. But I just didn't see like a romantic connection. But I thought I will definitely be friends after this. Why did you make the decision to choose friends? Like, she's cool. She's a vibe, innit? Like she's a cool person to talk to. So all I saw from that was like, we're just gonna get. We're just gonna become friends after this, do you get it? It's not really, it wasn't romance, there was none of that in there. After this, I'll probably talk to her as well. We'll be good friends, literally.